Where am I going? What am I doing? I have all the new interest in following some law cases this year, so might as well play a law video game. And this is usually, I think, what people say is if you like this, then you'll like Danganronpa, and I already played Danganronpa, so might as well play this. I feel like there's no voice acting, which is why I say RIP my throat, because I the don't know if I'll survive. After opening its doors, a push for cultural oh, there is a little bit. brought great waves of Western influence to this far eastern island nation. The revolution washed over the land, making life in the capital exciting and unsettling. It was a period of great change, and some were swept away by the tide. But for one man, the turbulence of that era was just the beginning of an extraordinary I'm story. Away. What have I just gotten into? What? Oh, no, nothing. Save your glares, murderer. Sorry. My name is Runosuke Naruhoto. I'm a second year student at the Imperial Yume University. Three days ago, I somehow found myself in the middle of a horrifying incident. And now here I am, awaiting my trial. That's enough. Where's the wind? Did someone leave a window open? He's not obliged to listen to such, such abuse, officer. And who are you? I'm this man's lawyer. I'll be defending him today. Lawyer. Yes. And until the judge has given his verdict on the case, no one has the right to treat him as a, as a criminal. So you will hold your tongue. Technicalities. Look at you. You haven't even graduated yet. And yet, I still seem to know better than you how a court officer should behave. <laughs> right, Ryunosuke? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. What are you apologizing to me for? Oh, I know. I suppose that wasn't my fault. But really, Kazuma, I never meant to drag you into this, I'm sorry. Ha ha ha, there you go again, apologizing. Just like always. Ah. Though I must say, you've been all over the newspaper these few, past few days. You may university professor murdered in cold blood by student. But obviously, you didn't actually do it, did you? You shouldn't ask a client that. <laughs> of course not. You have to believe me. I didn't do it. I could never murder someone. And there's nothing to worry about. Straighten yourself up. Hold your head high. You mean, I believe you. I know you're innocent, Ryunosuke. Kazuma Asogi, my best friend... Also in a second year in Yume University. But he's far more clever than I am. A star student, in fact. Also with the power of wind. <laughs> he's even a qualified lawyer. Impressive, considering he's still an undergraduate. It's not that impressive. The very concept of lawyer is only a few years old. Here in Japan, anyway. My qualifications don't mean much, yet. 
See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. Is it blinking white for some reason? I don't tell if that's the game or the capture. <laughs> Fucking up. Ah. Uh, it was straight after that. That's when it happened. It seems to do it between when things switch, so I think it's normal, but it's fucking bothering me. So game, may I have a word? Professor, I didn't know you were coming. Well, this case has personal significance to me. But never mind that for now, Asogi. You should go immediately to the judge's chambers. To his excellency's chambers? Why? He was looking for you before. You advocating for the defense in this trial was a sudden decision. It seems there may be some confusion about procedures today as well. Who is this man? Feels though I've seen him at the university before. Already feeling it. Ah. I see, I'll go all at once then. I'm a bleh, professor of forensic medicine at Yume University. Ah, Professor Miko Toba. I've heard that name from Kazuma before. As I recall, he's been pushing to get the government to agree to Kazuma's study abroad. Asogi has told me about you. You and he are best friends, I understand. As such, I feel you should know. Know what? Well, as you no doubt heard, Asogi has been granted permission to go and study in Great Britain. However, if he should fail to defend you in today's trial, I'm afraid that permission will be revoked and never granted again. What? Ah, uh, as I suspected, you were unaware of this. I can assure you that proving your innocence will be no easy task. You see, there are certain peculiar it peculiarities about today's trial. Sorry, what do you mean? You'll soon understand once proceedings get underway. As soon as the trial starts, the judge will pose a certain question to the defense. When that happens, you must answer before anyone else. You must say, I do. I do? But what would the question be? Surely not. Do you accept the accu Do you accept the accusations brought before you? Of course not. Defendant? Court is about to begin. Proceed to the courtroom at once. Zit. If this trial goes badly, Kazuma's dreams of studying abroad are over, and once more, I'll be found guilty of murder. <laughs> so this is a courtroom. The Supreme Court of Judicator. No court of land has more power. I don't much like the look of those people in the public gallery. You need to concentrate, Ryunosuke. It's about to begin. This is a tutorial, right? Because <laughs> what the fuck am I doing jumping into a court case? The lawyer will now- The court will now hear you're the trial of Ryunosuke Naruhodo. The prosecution is ready, Your Excellency. As is the defense. Before we begin, there is one point of order I would like to confirm. Yesterday evening, the defense made a last minute request for a change of advocate. That's correct, Your Excellency. I made the request myself. Normal procedure is for the defendant advocacy to be decided two days prior to the trial. As this is an unusual circumstance, I am obliged to ask for a final confirmation now. Who advocates for the defendant in this trial? D 
this is it? This must be the question. Who's going to defend me? That's the question the professor meant. But then, if I say I do... I need to answer quickly. What should I do? I do. You're excelling. No confirmation is needed. As I stand here beside the defendant, I hope it's clear yes. who will advocate of defense. His eyes are so shifty. <laughs> Wrong choice, what? Game over, wrong choice. I just reset, right? Reset. I would like to inform the court that I, Ryanosuke Narahodu, will be defending myself. You'll be, what? <laughs> what are you playing at, Ryanosuke? Professor Mikotobe told me everything, just now, before the trial. He did what? He said your dreams of studying abroad would be dashed if you were to lose. How sad. It means you don't have faith in me. You think I won't be able to get you off? No, it's not that really. It's just that, well, on the off chance that things don't go well for me, I couldn't bear to be the reason that you... I feel like I disappointed a parrot. <laughs> yes, I knew that's how you'd feel. Which is exactly why I decided not to tell you. <laughs> Professor Miko Toba shouldn't have stuck his nose in. Very well. The court hereby recognizes the defendant's desire to advocate for himself in today's trial. Well, well. Does the accused admit defeat already? Renouncing his own counsel? Objection. Really? Make no mistake, counsel. This is merely a show that defendant's in is so apparent he's confident he can speak for himself. Isn't that so, Naruhodo-san? Hmm? Oh! Yes, exactly! Exactly what I wasn't thinking. I'm not confident at all. <laughs> in fact, in my mind, I'm a complete blank. I realize you're in charge now, but I still try not to look so bewildered. Hmm. Well, for a mere university student to be brought before the Supreme Court, you must have perpetrated a most heinous crime indeed. As you are no doubt aware, this is the Supreme Court or the Judicature nature of Japan. Accordingly, the very high standards of conduct are expected of all present. Do I make myself clear, Defendant Naruhodo? Yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> it is therefore my duty to assess your competence for the task you have undertaken. My competence? What does that mean? He's questioning your ability to do the job. Well, he can't be questioning it more than I am! <laughs> so let's start with a very simple qu list of questions. Oh, um, yes! Kindly state before the court the name of the victim in this case. Well, that's easy enough. I've heard his name more times than I care to remember. But, wait. Uh, I'm so nervous I can't even remember that. What was it again? Ryunosuke? Let me guess. Your mind's gone blank. Uh, you know me so well. <laughs> All the relevant, in this case, relevant information in this case can be found in the court record. But I can't even find that! It's simple. You can ask at the court record with a press of R. <laughs> If you ever find you've forgotten something, just consult that. It's all in there. I just have to press R for the court record? Alright, there's no time to lose. So the evidence you collected. Now try switching the people with R. And details about the victim here when you're done go be 
John H. Wilson? So remember, everything to do with the current case can be found in the court record. Now you better not keep his excellency waiting any longer. Go on. Find the victim in the people court section, then press X to present. Yes! The victim's name was... Dr. John H. Wilson. Well, at least you can remember the name of an esteemed member of your own university. Dr. Wilson was a visiting professor from England and invited to Yuma University three years ago. Indeed. Which is the reason why this case has such profound implications. The British Empire is at present our country's most valuable foreign ally. As most of you will be aware, we have signed a new treaty together after lengthy negotiations. There can't be anyone who hasn't heard of the Anglo-Japanese Treaty of Friendship and Navigation. Yes, this is my first Ace Attorney game. I haven't played these before. Only Dagon Ropa. Where's the murder? Of... Wait, do I get to murder the prosecution after the end of this? Because that's what I'm more used to. <laughs> All because the victim was an Englishman. Yes, Dr. Wilson was an Englishman. But nationalities and treaties won't make any difference for me here. The fact is, I was there at the scene of the crime. Oh dear, look at the time, I better be going, says repeat, see you later, I'll stay and enjoy the place a little longer. It's not every day you get to visit a high class western restaurant like this. See you in English class tomorrow then, partner. The British Empire, wow, it's incredible to think... Wait. I've seen that man at university. I'm sure he's he's a visiting professor from Great Britain. I don't know his name, but still, I should go and say hello. So I went over to the professor's table and introduced myself to Dr. Wilson. Now then, let me pose my next question to you, Defendant Naruhoto. Yes, Your Excellency. How did this professor of medicine, John Wilson, lose his life? Stay before the court, or cause of death. Cause of death. Well, obviously that was, um, Ryanosuke. Remember the court, every assertion must be backed by evidence. By evidence? But how? Find the piece of evidence that shows the professor's cause of death and select present. Do it now. Uh, yes! This one. Well, um, well. According to this document, the victim suffered a hemorrhagic death due to gunshot trauma learn to read you imbecile that's the post-mortem report i take it sorry yes that's right the post-mortem report in the west a doctor dissects corpus to corpse corpses to identify the cause of death in an autopsy but here in Japan, a police officer here merely inspects the body and draws a conclusion that way. Oh, I see. As long as I'm not going to be tested on any of this later. This is a so-called photographic print of the scene of the crime. You can clearly discern scorch marks around the bullet hole Produced by the powder explosion. In other words, we should assume that the victim was shot at close range.
Why was his back to his food? Thank you, Council. The court will accept this modern scientific evidence into the record. The photographic print of the victim has been entered into the court record. A photographic print that shows the victim shot from the front of the chest and subsequently died. His chair was not facing the table with his food. So that's a photographic print. Well, that's something I've never seen before. It's clearly superior to a drawing. The detail is incredible. Very well. I am satisfied with your answers. Let us start the trial. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Certainly, Her Excellency. So without further ado, in order to appraise the court with the facts of this case... The prosecution hereby calls its first witness who was there at the scene of the crime when it happened. Uh, what is it? Oh, the waiter. I thought they were gonna call him to the stand. <laughs> Wisnet, state your name and occupation for the court, please. Of course, my name is Satoru Hosanaga. I am the head waiter at the Western style restaurant called La Car Carnival. Him. <laughs> Why did he cough up blood? <gasps> um, are you all right? You seem to be coughing up some. Her. It's a regular occurrence. It really doesn't bother me. Hey, why is it a regular occurrence and it really should bother you? <laughs> well, it really, it really should. As everyone knows, the capital south southeastern quarter was developed for foreign visitors some years ago. It's become a very fashionable district now, full of hotels to accommodate overseas guests. This grim crime occurred in one of the district's so-called restaurants. Occidental Eatery three days ago. I need to Google some of these words. Good lord. I understood. Hosanaga-san, you will kindly tell the court everything you can about the incident. At once, sir. And no petty interjections from the expiring lawyer boy, please. Oh, um. Perspiring, maybe, but aspiring, yeah. It was just after 2 p.m. on the day in question. We have few diner. We have a few diners at that time of day. The lunchtime rush was over, and there were only three tables still occupied. That fits in with my memory of it, too. There were hardly anyone else in the place. More coughing blood. It was when I was in the kitchen putting away... crockery and cutlery. A gunshot rang out, so I hurried out to the dining area to see what had happened. I found the victim, an English gentleman, slumped in his chair. And standing immediately beside him, gun in hand, was the accused university yes. student. Hold on. Just let me clarify something here. While well, I did pick up a gun that I found lying on the floor beside the professor, I didn't shoot him. I believe I've asked you to refrain from petty interjections. The court wishes to listen to the witness's report of what he saw. You amateur. <gasps> but. The next time you interrupt at an inappropriate time, you will be penalized. Defendant Naruhoto. Don't worry, Rinosuke. You'll have your chance to fight back. For now, we must just quietly listen to the witness. Ugh. If I may confirm one point, waiter. 
Standing beside the victim with gun in hand was the same man we see her in court today. Yes, without question. I see. And apart from the accused, was there anyone else standing beside the victim? No. There was no one else around the table but the deceased Englishman and the university student. Hmm. Wait. What did you just say? There was no one else around that table. What's the matter, Ryunosuke? That's... that's just not right. When I went over to Dr. Wilson to say hello... There was a woman sitting opposite at him at his table. Really? That was not something the waiter could have missed. I've been warned about interjecting, but still, what should I do? And there is something I want to say, so I'm just going to shut my eyes and say it. <laughs> just a moment, please. Dr. Wilson wasn't alone that day. I'm sure of it. There was a lady sitting with him at the same table. Dear me, dear me, what are we going to do with you? With your blatant disregard for the court proceedings, I'm beginning to wonder if you're not a fraud. Could it be that the accused, this mere student, is not a real lawyer after all? But I'm sure of what I saw. Masanaga, is there any chance you're mistaken? Perhaps your memory of events is hazy. No. The deceased gentleman came to dine alone. I don't believe it. Actually, I have a rough plan of the restaurant as it was that day. Please have a look if you'd like. Let me see. A sketch of the establishment layout drawn by yourself, I presume. That's right. I'm afraid I use the back of my business card. It was a turbulent situation. However, as you can see, the gentleman in question was seated alone. How? Huh? How do you get that off of this? Well, you're very clearly a conscientious waiter. That looks just like a layout with an X of where the man died. Not what seats were filled. Thank you, sir. The court will take, take this plan and add it to the court or record as evidence. Oh, um, well. Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course. There you are. What was that about? He's been completely calm and collected until now. <coughs> Something certainly seems to have shaken him. The waiter's business card has been entered into the court record. The battle hasn't even begun yet, Ryunosuke. The defense pleads not guilty, Your Excellency. We invite the prosecution to stop making empty threats and bring out its witnesses. Then we'll see just how decisive this evidence really is. The prosecution calls its next wit witnesses. Shouldn't it be sole witness. Very well, officer. Bring forth the witnesses at once. Why are there two? <laughs> Why are you telling telling two people to stand? <laughs> Witnesses, kindly state your names and occupations for the court. Yes, sir. The great Nippon on Imperial Army Sergeant Ayasa Nosa. Reporting for duty, sir. Myself, I find employ at the purveyor of fine articles of iniquity from the efflorescence of our nation, Nippon. 
and conduct my tra aid from Rasute, a humble premises in the second district. Kyrio Kurikuta, at your service. An antique dealer and a soldier. What an unusual pairing. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant on the day in question. There must be the diners at the other table, the waiter mentioned. Myself, I habitually take tea at the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question. 